How often do you pause to consider the risks taken by those who build our cities, soaring high above the ground? Picture a seasoned construction worker Jack, standing at the precipice of a skyscraper under construction in the heart of Metroville. It's a typical day, the sky is clear, and Jack is high up, dwarfing the bustling city below. Suddenly, the unthinkable happens. A misstep. Jack's foot slips, and he's falling. The cityscape blurs as he plummets towards the ground, a terrifying freefall. The world seems to stand still. The danger is real, the outcome uncertain. Yet in the face of this sudden peril, Jack's training kicks in. His safety harness, a lifeline in this moment of crisis, snaps tight. The fall halts. Jack's descent transforms from a terrifying drop to a controlled descent. He reaches for his emergency release, his fingers finding the familiar mechanism. With a swift movement, he activates it, and the harness begins to lower him towards the ground. As his feet touch solid ground, a wave of relief washes over Jack. He's safe. His colleagues swarm around him, their faces a mix of relief and admiration. They marvel at his calmness, his ability to handle the situation with such aplomb. Jack takes a moment, looking back at the towering structure that looms over them. It stands tall, a symbol of progress, a testament to human ingenuity. But in that moment, it represents something more. It underscores the importance of safety procedures and the resilience they foster. Every day, construction workers like Jack brave the heights to build the cities we call home. They put their trust in safety equipment and protocols, knowing that they can mean the difference between life and death. They understand that resilience isn't just about surviving a fall. It's about being prepared for it. So the next time you look up at a skyscraper, think of Jack. Think of the risks taken, the dangers faced, and the importance of safety and resilience. Remember that every structure standing tall is a testament not only to human progress, but also to the safety measures that protect those who make it possible.